Hey, what's up everyone? For today's video, I wanted to show you guys how you can recover permanently deleted photos on your iOS device. So even if you totally deleted your photos, you can actually have them back using this cool app that allows you to do that. So I am going to be flipping my camera screen over and I'm going to show you this cool app using my own phone, my iPhone, and also how you can download and install it for yourself following the step-by-step. -step. So I'll be recording my phone and you guys can easily follow along and be able to have this cool app. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. Okay, everyone. So as you can see, I'm on my phone here now. So just have your mobile device with you and let's go ahead and continue so uh, first i'm going to show you the app so it's the photos recovery app so it's this one right here and once you go ahead and open it up it shows you like your photo gallery where you had your recently deleted and everything was permanently deleted as you can see and basically all you have to do is click the recovery button right here and then immediately all my pictures are now back even though i had permanently deleted them so you can also do that yourself and let's go ahead and continue. So first of all, iOS users, we want to go ahead and head to our settings app first. And we're just going to make some brief adjustments before we continue with downloading and installing. So we're going to go ahead and click battery first. And then we just want to make sure that we have low power mode turned off just like that. If not, then just go ahead and click the little slider till it's off. And also make sure that you have at least 10% battery in your device. Now heading back to settings, we're gonna go ahead and click general, and then we're gonna click background app refresh up here as well. And we just wanna make sure that we select either Wi-Fi or Wi-Fi and cellular data, whichever of these two you prefer, just make sure that you do not select the off option, all right? And now heading back to general, we're gonna click about, and here we just wanna confirm that our iOS version is at least iOS 11, and of course anything above that is good. If it's not at least iOS 11, then I do recommend that you upgrade your iOS version before you try to download and install the app so that you can make sure that it is compatible with your device. Okay, so now we're going to head back to our settings menu and we are going to head down to Safari. And then we're going to go all the way down to Advanced. And last but not least, make sure that you enable JavaScript. So go ahead and click the slider till it's green just like that. So that way we can make sure that our web page loads properly and we can download and install our app without any issues. Okay, and that's basically it for our settings adjustments. So now we just wanna to head to our web browser, Safari or whichever preferred web browser that you have. And we're just gonna type up the name of the web page where we can get our app, which is this one right here, it's tweakfix.co. So go ahead and type that up just like that. So make sure that it's co and not com. And then once you type it up, just go ahead and click go. And then this is the web page. And then up here, as you can see, you have the search for app search bar. So we're gonna click there and we're just gonna type up the name of the app, which is the photos recovery. So as soon as you see it, you can just go ahead and click the install button. And then it's gonna start downloading here. And then we're just gonna give it about a minute or so for it to finish downloading here, and then we can proceed with the final steps. So as you can see, this is a pretty simple, pretty quick um, process for you to be able to get the app. All right, so once that finishes downloading, you're gonna get this pop-up. Go ahead and click allow. And then it's gonna say profile downloaded. Keep that in mind and click close. And you can just exit out of your web browser. And now we're all going to head back to our settings and we're gonna look for that profile downloader notification. So for iOS, in my case, it's usually up here. So once you find it, just go ahead and click on it. And then it's gonna pop up. So this is our app and we're just gonna finish installing it so that it's nice and pretty in our home screen. So go ahead and click install and if you have a passcode set in your device, just type up your own passcode. Click next, install and install. And finally click done. And that's it guys, once we exit out of there, as you can see the app is now here in our home screen along with the rest of our apps and we can use it. So yeah guys, that is how you can recover permanently deleted photos on your iOS device. I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial and I'll see you next time. Bye.